The final step of our project is going to be to add some decorative patterns to our outer layer, as well as adding some highlight spots uh, in glitter using glue. So we're actually going to be using our regular Elmer's school glue and we're going to be using it not like an attaching medium, but as a decorative medium. Um, we have several different colors of glitter. So your first job is to think about where you want your first color of glitter and all of the places that are going to share that same color. So I'm going to probably add some decorative things to the necklace, um, maybe to an earring, um, and also create some patterns along the outside. It's all going to be the same color adding on to my things that I've already started. Um, and I can use the glue as both a drawing media and as a like a polka dot type of deal, um, depending on the type of motion that I do. So you can see here, I can create ribbons. Don't overdo your first color of glitter if you're intending to do more than one color. But do make a pattern on both sides of your art that we could say has some symmetry. It's okay to wipe off the excess glue. You have a little time before it dries if the shape doesn't go the way you want it when you first are applying it. Once you've put your glue everywhere that you want for your first color of glitter, you're gonna come over to the glitter table and you're going to put your paper inside the box where the glitter will be or you know the part that fits at a time um, if your paper is super large like mine and then you will apply your first color of glitter whatever that color might be In this case i'm going to start with kind of a red so i'm going to shake the glitter into onto my artwork being careful not to overdo it. I don't need to upend the whole entire bottle, but I am going to get some red. Now, before I move to the other part of my picture, I'm gonna sort of shake this glitter that I've already got around onto the parts of my art that maybe didn't get as much as it should have gotten. That way I'm not wasting that glitter go ahead and turn my whole paper around and kind of keep this project process going shake it around shake it around okay so I'm gonna double check and look at it see if there's any place that missed it like this little spot maybe needs a little bit more put a little bit on the rest of my designs that I did Good. then shake it again Check it, see if anything needs a little more. Shake that off, tap it off, get the excess off. Okay, this looks pretty good. I like how that's turning out. I can then bring this back to my table and I can add more glue for my second color of glitter.
Remember, each color of available glitter will have its own box. So make sure that you go to the new box with a new color for your next area of glitter. In this case, I'm gonna do a multicolor. That's mostly green. Again, shake out a little bit at a time. And shake your paper around so that it gets everywhere you want it to be. Try to keep it all in the box. When your project has been covered with as much glitter as you need to use, generally you, two colors is plenty, um, photograph your work on Art Sonia and then put it on a drying rack to dry. That glue will take about a day to dry, so make sure you put it on the drying rack and don't touch anyone else's work because you could damage their glitter glue.